By the way, let's talk about this golf cart I'm sitting in. Uh, I bought a lithium ion. It's an Ionics lithium 48 volt battery for this thing. Before Todd and Lisa came up, which was, oh, two or three weeks ago. And I've got a solar panel on top of this that was on this golf cart when Bill bought it. And it never did seem to work too well with those old acid batteries, those lead acid batteries. But at a certain point, I decided to hook it up to this battery just to see how it would do. And I haven't had to charge this battery since then. Um, I took the battery over to Butch's yesterday and it got down to about 84% and I just left it sitting out. Um, and I've had it charged back to 100% when I do that, just sitting out in the sun during the day while I'm doing other things. So. That's working out real good. Uh, if this continues where I don't have to charge the battery on it, it's not just that it's free power, it's just that it's bother free power. You know, I can I can jump on this anytime I want to because uh, it, it keeps itself charged up just by sitting out in the sun. Uh, I do have an option to check this battery, the percentage of life in it on my cell phone. It has a uh, has a Bluetooth connection to my cell phone so I can literally come out here and sit on the machine and check my cell phone to see how much battery I got so it makes it so that I can keep up with you know how much of a charge I've got and not worry about you know driving it over to Bobby's house or to Butch's house or something and having it go dead on me before I get back so that's been working out really good so yesterday I was talking about my golf cart with the ionic battery that I've got a solar panel on a solar panel right there uh, and I mentioned that I could check my battery by my phone the last time I've charged this up with a plug-in charger was 21 days ago and I've been using it a lot so this is my cell phone and if I hit that button that brings up the ionic lithium batteries and then if I hit this button right here then it will bring up this battery and it will tell me how much charge. Now that has 95% charge now. Uh, before the day is over, that charge will go to 100% if I don't use this. And I have been using this golf cart a lot lately. So that's how that works. And that's without having been choked, plugged into a charger for 21 days. Uh, I'm gonna show you what the battery looks like. It seems they have to topple my seat off here, but I can do that for you because you're special. So that's my Ionics lithium battery. And I had an interesting thing happen yesterday. This top was loose and it was rattling and I tightened it down. What I didn't realize is that the previous owner ran this wire through this bolt hole and all the way down to that battery so when i tightened this screw up literally i pinched down the hot wire and i want you to look this is the bolt that was in it look how it welded i don't know if you can see that in this light look how it welded that bolt now that's a brass bolt a uh, pretty good bolt but it's interesting that uh, there was enough fire in there to weld that bolt and the funny thing is after it tightened down on that i couldn't get it loose because the the little nut is down in there where I couldn't get a wrench on it. So, oh, we had fire jumping all over the place yesterday. But anyway, we got that fixed and uh, got the top bolted back down. And I'm off for another day of working with my golf cart over here. I put this here because I had a bolt here that goes in up there. And it's the same thing. I can't get my finger in to reach the bolts. So this, this screw is loose. And I can't get to the nut to grab it to get it loose, so I put this on as a temporary thing, but I don't want to leave that, but that'll hold that till I get a chance to figure out how to get something over in there where I can hold that. But that's another job for another day, or maybe it's another job for later today.